Sight for a Night. Hey everybody, Doug back at you with another Your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I got another email question, so I'm going to tackle it right now. Uh, let me just read what, uh, what somebody wrote to me. Uh, they said, oh, we love your videos. Thanks, I really appreciate that. Um, and they wanted to know something about cultural traits of the Pennsylvania Dutch. They wrote, I know that sometimes we're called, you know, honest people. We work hard, but we also like to have fun. We have a disdain for materialism. These are traits that I personally aspire to, says the person that wrote the email, and appreciate in other people as well. But then they ask, are these due, are these traits due to my Pennsylvania Dutch heritage? Is it nature over nurture? Um, so what's your take on Pennsylvania Dutch personality traits, and are there other ones that I'm missing? Well, that's a great question, and again, I'm not a sociologist. Um, I do know that stereotypically the Pennsylvania Dutch tend to be uh, categorized as honest people, as hardworking, as straight shooters. We'll tell you exactly um, what we're thinking. We don't, uh, I don't think the Pennsylvania Dutch traditionally are very passive-aggressive. Um, to be honest, <laughs> this is true. I, I often share this story. Uh, as many of you know, I now live and work in north-central Pennsylvania, just outside of State College. And this isn't the traditional Pennsylvania Dutch region of, of Pennsylvania. Uh, there is an Amish population here, but non-Amish Pennsylvania Dutch, there's very few people uh, culturally that are here for that. Now, I grew up in, of course, with those those things that we just mentioned. Uh, I grew up on a farm, so hardworking and honest and will tell you exactly what they think. You know, those were traits that were instilled in me. Nature versus nurture, don't know, but those are definitely things that my parents uh, instilled in me, I guess, values that they instilled in me. Um, but when I got up to this part of the state, uh, I that's just who I am, and I quickly found out that um, uh, my... Uh, forwardness, I guess, or my uh, personality trait of telling people what I think and what, you know, how I'm thinking um, came off very abrasive <laughs> to many people around here. And I found out that passive aggressive is something that I don't really care for either. Uh, but I deal with a lot of passive aggressiveness. Uh, uh, well, uh, it tends to be a way of culture, I guess, right now in America. But yeah, the Pennsylvania Dutch, we uh, will tell you what we're thinking, and um, we're not afraid to do that. Although I will find, I think that's something that we brought over. Um, having lived and spent time, quite a lot of time in Germany, the Germans are uh, like that as well. Um, they're very direct people, and I think the Pennsylvania Dutch can be direct as well. We don't necessarily like to, uh, uh, you know, play beat around the bush. It's it's tell you exactly what we're thinking. So, um, you know, some of these other traits you asked about, I think also... You know, honest and hardworking, absolutely. And I think those come from just our our background. You know, being an agricultural and agrarian society, um, you naturally had to work hard. You worked hard to survive. Um, and we look at, you know, how many generations of our families lived subsistently. And, you, you know, your ability to live and survive based on how hard you worked and were you willing to do the work necessary. Uh, sadly, I, in this, I'm going to generalize, but, you know, I, hard work or a hard work ethic or an ethic of hard work is something that I don't see as much, personally speaking, uh, among uh, the average person today. I know that's, that's well, Pennsylvania Dutch, I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, uh, and mainly because, you know, not everyone grew up agri with an agricultural background. Luckily enough, I did grow up on a small farm, uh, and I, I understand the value of hard work, um, and I wish that we could spread that on. I was just talking to, I'm going off topic, but I'm going to share this. I just was talking to someone the other day. Um, I said that I think there's a couple things that every American should have to do. Uh, every American should have to spend a summer on a farm. Every American should have to work in a restaurant for a summer. Uh, I think doing those two things really opens your eyes to a lot of things in the world, and you learn a lot about yourself and about other people. But anyway, uh, I digress. But no, the Pennsylvania Dutch, you know, we, 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 we survive for generations, agriculture, and I think that's instilled these values of hard work, of being honest. You know, a farmer can't lie. Um, but also, I think a lot of that has to, has to do with the fact that for generations, we were a very faith-based people. Um, some form of Protestantism, the majority of us, now there were Catholics, of course, but I mean, even among our Catholic Pennsylvania Dutch brothers and sisters, there was, you know, uh, faith pushed 
honesty, you know, and, and being honest with, with ourselves and with God and, and, and with each other. Um, so I think those are all aspects. I also think, you know, the one that is, is true, and we might not like it the most, but we are very uh, stubborn. Uh, you know, the average Pennsylvania Dutchman or woman, uh, traditionally, we are very stubborn people. We don't like a lot of change or we don't like quick change, that's for sure. Gradual change, I think we get used to. Um, but we are very set in our ways. And again, that I think that speaks to our our, pre, our experiences from our previous generations that was passed down. We are slow to accept change. Um, I don't think that's unique to the Pennsylvania Dutch people, though. Um, but it is definitely a trait that uh, I'll throw in the mix there. Um, yeah, uh, I think those are the biggies. I mean, I'm sure there are other ones out there that I'm not thinking off the top of my head right now. Is it nature versus nurture? I don't know. Maybe it's a mixture of both. I think a lot of it has to do, though, with, with our shared history, you know, what we went through um, for the last 300 years in, in, in the United States here in Pennsylvania and in the other areas that we settled. Uh, I have to remind myself to, to bring this up every once in a while. You know, there, are, there was a strong Pennsylvania Dutch group in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia and up in, the, uh, in parts of New York State as well the Squahari Valley as well. I always, you know, keep referencing Pennsylvania, and that is where the majority of us, you know, settled and stayed. But there were Pennsylvania Dutch groups, um, ethnic groups also outside of Pennsylvania. So give a shout out to the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia uh, and up into New York. And now, of course, uh, our plain brothers and sisters have moved well beyond the borders of Pennsylvania into the Midwest uh, and into parts of Canada. Um, and they took those uh, traits with them, I'm sure, wherever they have gone. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you're Pennsylvania Dutch, I think most of us would be able to relate to what I'm talking about. Um, hardworking, honest, um, faith-based for a lot of us. I think that's changing uh, and probably will change as the years go on as we become less and less or we become more and more secular, I guess I should say, um, as a society. But uh, I, I think, to me, those are the personality traits that come to mind first. Uh, when I think of m us as, as a people, the Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, but if you think of one or if you're like, oh, you, how did you not mention this? Put that down in the comment section below. I'll be interested to read and, and, uh, and uh, maybe it'll get a good discussion going. What are your, uh, what's your definition of the personality traits of the Pennsylvania Dutch? I, I'd love to, uh, uh, I'd love to, to, to read what you guys have to say if I miss something. Um, and then you can also, please feel free to comment, do you think it's nature or nurture? Um, I, I truly, I'm going to go with, I think it's a little bit of both as a healthy mix. But I, I, I'm proud of of our um, of our personality traits. These, if, if we're going to say that these are it, I, I'm I'm proud that uh, I'm someone that values hard work and that I understand the the value of hard work uh, and honesty and directness. Those are traits that I appreciate and I I appreciate in other people. Um, so there, I don't know. It wasn't necessarily all that Pennsylvania Dutch based. It was a good question. Glad I could tackle it. Uh, but if you have an idea for a future video, uh, let me know. It's been a while since we did a language-based video. I'm going to have to get back to doing some of those here at some point. But if there's if there's a topic uh, language-wise you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to ask. Uh, send me an email. The address is at the end. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, why well, you got to do it, then you'll get an update every time a new video comes out. Please share the link with your friends. And till next time, let me know what those personality traits are that you link up with the Pennsylvania Dutch. And keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. And be a little stubborn. That's okay. Mox good. Mox good.